Hi, welcome to this tutorial today. What I'm going to show you how to do is implement Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 from AMD into your Unreal Engine project. So this is used for frame generation and uh, F, uh, upscaling, AI upscaling. This is AMD's open source alternative to DLSS. So the benefit of using this is it works with both AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA graphics card. It also works on Mac, mobile, and I believe Xbox. I believe the only thing it doesn't work on is PlayStation. Um, but I could be wrong on that. I have not ported to PlayStation, so I haven't tested it. But I'm pretty sure that's the only thing it's not supported on. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. So in order to get this, what you're going to do is you're going to go into Google. You're going to type in AMD FSR3 download. You're going to see this AMD GPU open. You're going to click that. And then at the top over here on this uh, bar, you're going to click UE5. It's going to tell you to download our latest plugin. Okay. And once you do that, you will uh, get a zip file. You will get a zip file and you want to unzip it. You'll see this FSR3. Uh, you will then choose the engine version that you want. I'm using 5.3 for this, but you'll have 5.2 and 5.1 if you're using those. Just keep in mind FSR3 only works on 5.1 and forward. If you want to use previous engine versions, you will want to use FSR 2.2 or FSR 1. Um, AMD has plugins for that. It's on their yeah right here so just go to software at the top and choose one two or three three is the only one with frame generation so two just has upscaling and I think one is like a lesser version of the upscaling so I recommend three okay so once you have that you open this up and what you'll do is you'll just right click copy and then you'll go to your project folder and make sure you have a plugins folder if you don't have one just click new folder and name it plugins make sure the P is capitalized and then you'll also need to have a C++ project. The reason for that is this is a plugin, so you have to compile it. Um, if you don't know how to make a C++ project, I have a video from a couple days ago that shows you how to do that. It turns a Blueprint project into C++. If you already have a C++ project, you're good to go on this end. So once you do that, you'll want to generate the Visual Studio project files Okay, by right-clicking the Unreal project and generating it. Make sure you have the uh, FSR folder in there. Make sure you copy pasted it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video right here until this is finished. Okay, so once you have that, you're gonna wanna open up your IDE, your solution file, because you're gonna have to rebuild this plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that real quick once this opens up. All right, so it's opening up. Now it's gonna take a second because I'm using Writer and it's gonna check the project. But once, uh, if you're using Visual Studio or Writer and once your solution file has been explored and everything by the IDE, You'll want to go to your project name up here. You will then go to advanced build op actions and rebuild. Um, Visual Studio might name it different, but you want to do a rebuild. Okay, I'm going to cut the video here and return whenever it's finished. Okay, so I'm in the editor now, the rebuild finished, and I'm in the editor. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to enable FSR3. So it's under the project settings. If you don't know how to do there, go to edit, project settings. You're going to scroll down until you see plugins, and you will see Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3. If you're using 2, you'll see 2, 1, you should see 1. Okay, so now once you've done this, you want to go to Enable, click that to True, then you want to choose D3D12 Backend. Make sure you do not use RG, RHI Backend unless um, you have like Metal API or something. So because this can cause hitching if you're using D312, DirectX 12. So the next thing you want to do is you want to turn on frame generation enabled. I have found that the best settings are to enable update global frame time, async interpolation, and present. Okay, you can just disable the capture debug UI. You don't need that. Um, and then make sure frame generation is enabled. Now to change the upscaling, you want to go down to quality mode and you can choose between the five options. Okay, if you're using FSR2, they don't have native AA, that's an FSR3 feature. Um, but yeah, you'll choose these, and if you want to choose them inside the game, if you want to choose them inside the game, such as a settings menu, then what you can do is you can go in here, and you can do, go to the event graph, wherever your menu is, go to execute console command, okay, and this works inside a package build. And now AMD has a guide here, Okay, it's on the website. If you just go to plugin configuration, you'll have a documentation. And if you go down to plugin configuration, you'll scroll down, you'll see quality modes. So, what you want to do is you just want to copy these console commands. 
okay? And once this executes, it will change the Fidelity FX mode. That is basically it to enable frame generation. There is a known bug with FSR3 that I've encountered in my projects, and that is if you play it with FSR3 enabled and frame generation enabled, then you will have a crash if you pause the game. Now that doesn't happen in package builds luckily, just the editor. So while you're working in the editor, I recommend disabling FSR3 through the project settings. Um, and then before you package it, just turn it back on. But yeah, that's basically how to enable frame generation and upscaling through FSR. Have a good one.